This video is going to discuss how to merge multiple data files into one project file in Hoboware Pro, Onset's Hoboware Pro software package. We're going to be talking about files that were offloaded uh, using a waterproof shuttle device. However, this would apply to any um, files that you would like to merge, any Hobo files or um, other types of files, project files, etc. So here we have the waterproof shuttle connected to our computer. You can see that here down at the bottom of the screen. And we're going to, I want to show you the difference between if you select device and manage shuttle versus device and readout using um, Hoboware. And again, we're using Hoboware Pro because you need Hoboware Pro in order to use the, the data shuttle. So we can click, if we click on a readout device, this, the second icon here, or click on device and readout, it will immediately read out the shuttle and take us right to the, um, you can see there's some automated actions, and it takes us right to the um, save um, folder in the shuttle management um, utility. So it immediately goes out, it looks, it looks at all the files that are currently on this shuttle. Again, we have five. These were already offloaded once before, but um, again, it goes out, it reads them, and now it's giving us the ability to save them in a location um, that we choose. If we, I'm going to close this, again, that's using just readout, just like you would from a standard um, logger. If you wanted to take some different actions, if you didn't want to offload or read out all of this all of the uh, files that are on that shuttle if you want to pick and choose then you can go to device and manage shuttle and that takes you to the shuttle management screen and this is where you can actually select specific um, files again if these if these were not offloaded previously they would say not offloaded and then you could um, select which ones you want to offload if you want to delete any if you want to offload any Etc. So this is the this is the first screen in the shuttle management uh, window. If you selected readout, it would take you directly to the next screen, which I'll show you right now. So I have these three water temp files that I want to offload again. So I'm going to check those off, and then I'm going to say offload checked, and then it takes us to that second screen. So if you went to readout, it takes you to the screen immediately. If you go to manage shuttle, it gives you the ability to select which files you want to offload. So we're going to offload those files and then merge them together. The first step in merging files is we want to open one of the data files. Um, so we go to file and then the first selection is open data files or you can do control O. And we go into that shuttle readout folder that we created. Again, these were offloaded a day ago but they're the same files that were off that shuttle. So what we want to do is we want to open one of them. So we're going to open the first one. Notice when we do, these are incremental offloads, meaning they're offloads that have done been done periodically throughout the day from the same logger using the shuttle. The shuttle is offloading the data and then relaunching the logger each time with the same configuration. Um, and you can see there is a an underscore zero, an underscore one on those incremental uh, offloads so you don't have to worry about overriding data. You can change these file names when you offload the shuttle if you want to. Uh, but these were these are obtained from that description or that name that we gave that deployment when we launched it using Hoboware directly connected. So let's click on open to open this file. And there's our plot setup screen. I'm not going to, um, I'm going to ignore these internal events. Internal events are things like when the coupler was attached to the logger, when it was detached from the logger, when the USB host was connected, things like that. Just for clarity, we're going to um, disable those. And again, that's a preference, a global preference in Hoboware that you can set to either always show those or never show those. And you can always turn them on in the plot setup screen if you're, uh, if you're so inclined. So let's uh, plot that data. So here's the first data file again we're in SI units so these are in degrees C and uh, basically this device is in a bucket under my desk it's a tidbit one of our little tidbit loggers and again you figure that uh, you can see that by going into uh, devices device info 
and uh, in the details pane and you can see the model number of the logger and the serial number things like that so now that we have the one file open you can see where I dropped it into the bucket here and then the, the water in the bucket was gradually acclimating through the day to merge those other two data files together from those incremental offloads you click on file merge data files up here at the top of the screen zoom in it says merge data files and again those can be dot hobo files dot hproj or hobo project files that's an important thing to understand because if you need to post process data from your loggers using one of our uh, software tools called data assistance in hoboware pro you cannot do that on uh, saved merged files because when you save the merged files you're going to save it as a project file and project files do not include enough information in them to um, use the um, data assistance. So we're going to say merge data files and we're going to select our next two files to merge together and you can do a multitude of files all at the same time. You don't have to do them one at a time. So we're going to select both of these by clicking on the first one, holding our control key on our keyboard, and then clicking on the second one. So we selected both of them. They're both here. We click on open. And we get to our merge series setup window. Here is where we can associate those um, series with an existing series in our, in our plotted data. So again, I'm going to turn off these uh, internal events just to keep things from being cluttered. Notice automatically it um, Hoboware is seeing that we have a temperature uh, temperature measurement here so it's saying merge with temperature from that uh, plotted data that we currently have here so it, this is asking you is this what you want to merge it with you can also select no series and if you select no series what it'll do is it'll put that series of data from that second file in a separate column and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it both ways so you can see how that works. But for now, I'm just going to sh leave it um, so that they will merge together into one contiguous deploy or one contiguous file. So there's my two files, and it's it's going to merge these temperature ranges or these temperature measurements in with my original temperature. And again, these are all from the same logger, and we'll click plot. So now what we see here's the first file here. And then we got a little, what looks like a gap in the data, but it really isn't. I'm going to explain that in a minute. And then here's the second file, and here's the third file. You'll notice that there's an increase right here, a little uh, jump in the temperature, and it's because it was pulled out of the water to offload it, at the t and it happened to coincide with the time we were doing the offload with the shuttle. So these are actually just two data points. Uh, there's a data point here and a data point here. This is logging every five minutes. So... Merge together, notice we have our, this is our plot, and if we look at our data table, there's all of our data in one contiguous series or one column. If we selected merge with no series, we'd have three columns, and I'll show you. We're going to do it again, and I will show you what that looks like. What I want to show you, though, is these, what we think are gaps, which are not really gaps at all. What they are is... Remember, this is a series of data points that we're recording every five minutes. And Hoboware, in order to plot these, it connects the dots. In other words, it is connecting, putting a line between each data point to make a XY uh, graph. So all this is, is we're not drawing a line between these two data points and these two data points here. Um, to illustrate that, what I'm going to do is zoom in. Now let's zoom in right here. And again, to zoom in, I went up and used my zoom tool, which is this little um, icon up here. Again, the, uh, the little magnifying glass. And then what I did is I just took my, my uh, magnifying glass pointer and click and hold the left mouse button and draw a little box around that space we want to zoom into and then click inside of it. So there's my, my two data. Here's my second data file. Here's my third data file. And what we want to do is I want to show you the data points. The way we do that is we can uh, we go up to the top of the screen and select our arrow tool. So up at the top of the screen, right in the middle here. And then we're going to double click on one of these series. So let's double click on that. And we're going to get the series property window open. 
this is where we can select to connect points. We can change the, the line style, the width. We can put in alarm thresholds. We can mark the points. We can change colors. What I want to do is mark the points because I want to show you each data point. And we can select what kind of marker we want to use. So we have the oval, a rectangle, a diamond. I'm going to use a diamond. And again, you can change the size of the, of the marker if you want to. But let's click on Done. And now what you'll see, here are our actual data points. Each individual data points is marked with a diamond, right? So what this, again, what Hoboware is doing is it's drawing a line between each data point to make the, um, the plot uh, be plottable, be, um, be able to put in graphical format. So that's, that's what our entire plot looks like. If I hit uh, undo, I'll go right back to that same Again, undo is right here at the top of the screen underneath help. So what I want to do is I want to confirm that I'm not missing any data. So let's use our crosshairs tool up here right next to the arrow and click a crosshairs right on that diamond. Okay, That's going to take us right to that data point, data point number 43. And we can see that up here in our data table up in the upper left-hand corner. Zoom in on that. So we can see data point number 43 was taken at 11.21.33 on uh, April 20th. Zoom out again. And if we take our crosshairs tool and click on the next point, we'll see that it's 44, which is the next data point that was taken at 11.26.33 on the same day. So we can see that we're using a five-minute logging interval. We didn't miss any data in that what looks like a gap. Again, Hoboware is just not connecting those together with that line. Also, I want to show you, here are the same data files. Again, I want to run through that same procedure, but I'm going to say merge with no series because I want to show you the difference. So if we open our first data file again, we click open, and we're not going to show those internal events and click plot. So there's our first data um, file, and then we're going to say file, merge data files. We're going to select the same two but this time in our merge series setup window, we're going to select no series for both of these. And again, no internal events and click plot. And now what you see is it, it's very similar to what we had before. However, each plot is delineated by a different line type. And we have three columns of temperature data instead of one that's merged together. So here is your here's your first files worth of data here's your second and there's your third so it's a good thing to if for example if you had multiple um, loggers deployed in a specific location uh, and you wanted to put them into one data file but you didn't want to merge them together because they're from different file different loggers in different locations but they're over the same time period or something like that this is a good tool uh, to use to do that and once the files are merged together to your liking, you would click on File, Save Project, and it gives you the ability to save these merged files as one Hobo project file with an HPROJ extension.